Quarantine has officially made us crazy. We were watching Ozark and Brian said, let's move the living room around. No. So. I said we could. And then Haley said, let's just do it right now. Why not? Switch it up. It's a little messy in here, but this is our before. We've got the couch going this way, the TV over there, and we're thinking if we flip it, the space will look bigger because the little L will be over there, so. I hope it looks better. If it doesn't, then we're just gonna get to put it back. Yeah, because with the, his, the way it is now, it like creates like a, a separate room, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's true. But it's almost like, is that better, or is it better just to have it all flow because then it'll, it'll feel bigger. But yeah, I guess we can just put it back if we don't like it. So the biggest problem is just that we have all of our everything plugged in back here. So we're just putting it on the ground for now. Literally everything was plugged in here. The router's back here. All the cords and everything. Woo! I spent literally like hours routing all these wires. <laughs> now we're gonna undo it. And now, yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna move this out first and then yeah. clear all this stuff and then put the couch over and just see if it like looks good at first before we do everything. One thing we were looking at is right now when you sit on the couch, you have like a view out here. Oh, let me try to adjust that. Of like the trees and you can see like the planes flying in. And if we sit over here, you're just gonna see the parking lot. But Brian made a good point that we really don't look out the window all that much. Yeah, yeah how often do you? I mean, it, it is a lot. The view is a ton better over here. Like you can see, like cranes and like buildings and things like tons of trees and stuff. Yeah, but I guess we don't really We're, sit there that yeah. much. Broken. Okay, so we got that moved and now this whole space is clean. Oh, it's not clean. There's <laughs> crap not... everywhere. But the goal now is to flip this around and like kind of prototype the space, I guess. Make sure it looks good because right now it's, um, well, doesn't look too good. Okay, I want to do that part. Mm -hmm. Hi, dude. Okay. So, do you think we should then? Are we gonna have to flip? I was thinking, yeah, the, that. yeah. I think we should definitely flip them. That's gonna be annoying. Because I definitely like that above the TV and that above the couch. We're halfway there. As in, we shoved the couch into the middle of the room and now it's sideways. And Scrappy there's is just so like riding. The couch <laughs> he know. has not moved from that spot. But there's so no, much don't stuff. Don't come over here. Don't yeah, this is disgusting. When, I don't even know the last time we've cleaned underneath this couch. Probably since we got it two years ago. To be fair, it's like really heavy. And it actually hooks together right here. So we're trying to not have to unhook it because it's super annoying to actually hook back up in that like divider right there. So we're just like, well, we'll try to push the whole couch as a thing, as a single thing. Okay, so we have Couch fully in, the entertainment center in its spot where it would go. Wow, this feels weird. It definitely feels weird to like sit and see this like this way because our couch is always there. You know what I just realized? Huh. The TV looks smaller because this wall is bigger. This wall ends Oh yeah, there. you're right. That wall ends there, Yeah. which is like there. Okay, so now what we're trying is pushing the couch all the way against the wall and seeing if that makes it, but then this, Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. the TV would have to then, the whole room would shift that way. Oh no, <laughs> well, oh no. Well. But then everything's off centered. Oh no, no. I don't, know. I don't think I like this. Did this would be so we'd have to scooch it? Yeah, this the whole the whole console would have to go that way. And then that means that would have to go that way as well, because nothing would be centered. Like everything would be like off skew if we move this couch this way. So I'm just trying to think what would we do with this space to make it look normal, you know? I, I honestly am starting to feel like the way we had it was like the best setup. Me too, but now I'm determined to at least see what it would look like. True. So this is the room now. You can tell we've done a little bit more to like tidy it up, if that makes sense. So we have like the plant in over there. I'm gonna turn the brightness up here a little bit. So yeah, we've got a plant there, TV station in, put the chair over there, 
Still don't know what we're doing with that chest. And then we put the side tables on their each on our own side. So it's starting to feel a little bit more like a room. And I'm gonna step back here so you can kind of see everything. It doesn't look terrible. But it's not. I don't, I, I can't tell if it's because I don't like it or it's just different than what we've had for two years. Yeah. It has still not moved <laughs> from this spot. Well, from this couch. Dude, people are starting to think you're lazy. He is lazy. You got words to say? You got anything to, nope, nothing? Okay. And it's much later in the night. The boys are tired. Um, we really like the setup. And the space feels so much bigger, so we're thinking about just leaving it as is. But it is super weird to sit on the couch and see the other apartments and the parking lot. It kind of feels like we're being watched a little bit, and I don't know. I don't know if I like that, so we might flip it, but we're just going to try to leave it alone for tomorrow and see how we feel. It would not be fun to have to move it all back. So it's really just another day in quarantine for us. Obviously, we mixed this whole room around. Who knows if it'll stay. Maybe at least through quarantine, this will be our new setup just to give us a little change of scenery. But every day I've been making coffee in the morning, obviously, um, for myself and then bringing some to Brian. I already had my first cup, so I'm gonna make Brian some and probably my second cup of the day. So this is crazy easy um, to make at home. Brian really likes mochas and um, we don't have obviously an espresso machine here so I can't really make him a true iced mocha but if you have cold brew and some chocolate syrup that's really all you need um, and a little bit of milk. Some oat milk if you want to be extra fancy. So yeah, I'm just gonna put a little bit of chocolate syrup in here. You can make your own if you want. You can find some recipes or just make it easy on yourself. Uh, this cold brew is from the coffee shop I work at, but you can also make your own. Let me know if you wanna see a video on how to make cold brew at home. We could definitely do that. Now Brian likes his drinks pretty milky, so I'm just gonna fill it up to about there. Give everything a good mix. Alrighty. Top her off with some oat milk. Shake it up. Then just leave some room for ice. That's all there is to it. Pretty darn easy. <clears throat> Do you want to criticize my camera <laughs> skills more? No, I'm just looking at your delicious, beautiful coffee that I'm so grateful for. And my face, which is <laughs> cute. Hey, dude. <laughs> Haley got these new treats from the dog store today. I don't know if it'll focus. Maybe? I don't know. There's these like little dog treats. If and you are in Austin, you have to go to Paws on Chacon and check out on Chacon? What? Chacon? Paws on Chacon. Chacon? Chacon? <laughs> you have to go to Paws on Chacon I think. and see Keith. He is great. <laughs> okay, I will give you this. Come here. Stop. Sit. No, I didn't stop. You need to relax. <laughs> no. That's it. Really Can you? Okay. So. Okay. No, I'm not telling you to do anything. Stop. No. Sit. Stay. Fist bump. <laughs> no, no. Okay, that was aggressive. Stop. <laughs> oh my God. Mom has one. Go get him. Um. Yeah, it's super weird when we're sitting on the couch and we can see into the other, like, complex slash parking lot, but I think I like this setup better because the space feels so much bigger. This foof chair kind of has a spot. I mean, it still massively takes up the place, but I love it. But look at it now. And my little corner, I sat here for like an hour this morning 
and the view is just so pretty and I have a little spot for my coffee and this spot makes it makes the flip worth it. I forgot. Leave your opinion down below. Did you like it better before or after? We need help. We don't, yeah, we still don't know what to do here. Okay, I'll give him one more. Yeah, he's into it. Okay, one more. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. No. Sit. Down. What now? Tell him sit again. Sit. Nope. Sit. And then spin. Spin. Sit. Spin. Sit. Okay, okay. okay. Nope. For the next part of my day, um, because Brian still works his normal hours, he kind of hangs out in the office, I'm going to enjoy my new little corner here, drink my coffee, um, maybe read or scroll through Pinterest or find some random nonsense to do for Hazel or I don't know, whatever. Somehow I end up filling my days with nonsense or busy work. Uh, even through this quarantine. So yeah, I'm gonna do as much as I can and not watch TV because I'm trying not to do that all quarantine. So we are gonna end the video here, but please let us know in the comments what you think. I'm, I'm so stuffy and nasally today. That's why I've been staying off camera because I literally am having allergies up the butt. So one, one last look, I guess, at the new room. So you can kind of get a feel for if we should keep it this way, move it back, give us your opinions, whatever they are, in the comments down below. But thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, enjoyed us watching making a random decision at 10 p.m. to move around our entire main room. Making ourselves crazy. Making ourselves crazy. And uh, let us know. All right, peace. See you later.